Good afternoon, architectural students. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to turn this lake cabin into a beautiful log home. These walls uh, will be duplicated and have a sweep included to it. And the sweep is going to be a log profile going all the way around. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create a profile. And this profile will use as a uh, sweep operation. And it's going to follow this wall all the way around. To begin with, we need to create the profile. So we're going to go New, Family. And we're going to use a template file. And since this is just going to be a real simple arc uh, to represent a log, we will use the uh, generic profile. Generic profile gives us two reference planes. We can start out by drawing a 2D profile. And this 2D profile is going to be what our log section would look like. We're going to come up 8 inches, although you could vary this if you like. Um, Logs, of course, do vary. I think 8 inches is a, is a good typical height. We'll come out approximately 2 inches this way. And now we'll make our, our rounded end. So we can use uh, start end radius. Come down here. And we'll just estimate this. I would say somewhere around there would look nice. All right, and then we'll finish this. We, we need to close this off. So we have a closed profile here, and 8 inches is the key. We'll need to remember that. Now, let's go ahead and save that. We'll call it our log profile. And, of course, um, be aware we're saving it to. We're saving it into our Revit uh, folder. You would save it into your project folder. Else, I'm going to say yes because I did this already earlier. Okay, now we'll load this into our project. Now this log profile, you should see it listed here in the families. And it would most likely be under generic. Uh, let's see, it's in one of these profiles. We're not to it. There it is profiles and there's our log profile so it's loaded into our project okay so let's now go to our first floor and close that first floor and we're going to select all of our exterior walls so if I mouse over one and hit the tab key I can select them all at once I'm going to edit the type and from here now uh, since we're changing this Let's duplicate it, rename it. This will be our exterior log wall. Now we can go into its properties. We can edit the structure. And then here's where the, where the real magic uh, occurs here. Um, since we're going to, right now it has a uh, lap siding on here. We can just, well, delete that. Okay, the key point here to make this work is you must, you notice that if I'm not in a sectional view, this is all grayed out. So for this to work, we must be in a sectional view. Okay, so we'll zoom in to the bottom of this so you can kind of see what's going on. And now, uh, like I said, we're going to create a sweep. A sweep takes a profile and it follows that wall uh, all the way around. So. Uh, to start with, we need to add a layer. And now, since our profile is loaded, we should see it right here. Okay? We can also assign a material to our wall. And uh, wood pine would be a good material to use. So let's go ahead and use that. And now you can see that's our course if you want to experiment and try some different materials go ahead all right and the first one is loaded uh, at zero all right so you can see now where it shows up 
on the exterior side and now it's just a matter of continuing to add more. So to keep this simple here, let's um, duplicate this a few times. And we can just start down here. Um, the, this is the distance from the base. So the first one was at zero. The next one, as you recall, is going to be eight inches up. Okay. The next one will be up 16 inches. The next one is going to be up 24 inches. And the next one's going to be up 32 inches. The next one's going to be up uh, where we leave off 32, 42 inches. Oops, sorry. 40 inches. Now I know I don't teach math. Now we're up 48 inches. Now we're up 4 feet 8. And now we're up uh, after 4 feet 8 inches would be 5 feet 4 inches. Alright, let's see what that looks like. See if I my math was good. Alright, and we would just keep on going like this until we got all the way to the roof. Let's um, see what that looks like for what we have right now. Oh, one other thing that we need to do here is there's a, a checkbox here. Now what cuttable means is that our sweep will be cut and we can turn this off because uh, our sweep's not going to cut into the wall. So wherever there's a, a door or an opening we're going to allow our sweep profile to be cut by that opening. And we back out of that by clicking OK. And you can see it's regenerating the model. And still regenerating. And now let's go to a 3D view. And you can see that's a beautiful thing. You can see the sweep now. Each individual layer has been swept around. You can see it's, it's three-dimensional. Okay, I didn't go up high enough yet, but I would just keep on going. You see it doesn't take very long. You can see it's been cut out for each opening. If I make it, you can see that this log here was actually cut This log was actually cut in half along with this one to accommodate the opening. To continue with this, I'm going to select the wall. Now it doesn't matter if I select all of them, I can just select any wall because they are now of all the same type. So if I change the type of this wall, I'm also changing the type of those walls. Now I can come back here to edit type, come back into my sweeps. Remember that it's important that we uh, are in a section view in our preview panel. If we don't see that, remember you got to hit preview. And then there's our section. Now we can go back to our suite. We can select any layer, duplicate that, duplicate it, and we'll go up a little bit higher. So we left off at 5 foot 4. Okay, so 5 foot 4 plus 8 inches is going to give me six feet. Then we're going to have six feet eight. And six feet eight inches plus eight inches is going to be seven feet four. And if my math is correct, I shouldn't have any of these overlapping. Okay. Let's add one more. Let's go all the way up to 8 feet. So the next, duplicate that. So the next one is going to be at 8 feet. Okay, I hope we should see another one popping right there. And there it is. And we back.
back out of that. Okay, I'm just about there. Uh, I would continue adding more layers until I'm all the way to the top. Who wouldn't like a log cabin up at the lake? We've got a nice deck, lots of window space, and there you go. Have fun with that, and that concludes this, this lesson.